Hello guys, welcome to this new channel called Filament Daily. This is the same me, Povilas from Laravel Daily. I just decided to create a separate channel about filament because there's so much to talk about, so many new features, tips and tricks and stuff like that, that it would be overwhelming to have that all on the main channel of Laravel Daily. So I gave myself a separate challenge to spend even more time on YouTube to have a second channel specifically for filament. It will be probably shorter videos with quick tips around two minutes or so and probably skipping weekends so only Monday to Friday so daily five days a week but we'll see how it goes. Will I have enough content for weeks and months ahead? Let's explore the filament together. If you have any ideas for topics or what to cover or tips shoot in the comments below. And topic of today is enum classes for options in tables and forms, resources. So based on the course I've launched on Laravel daily, in one of the tables I had this column of status, in stock, sold out or coming soon product. And these are three options, they are not from separate table of status or something like that, they are just array key value pairs and they are used in the select field in the table but then they are also used in the edit as a radio group. So we have repeating array and how to extract that to be not repeating. One of the ways is without enum class and another way is with enum class, PHP class, and I will show you the benefit of that in the table. So let's dive into the code. In the product resource, we have this select column with options array here, but then also in the form, we have radio with options the same. So these are identical and it feels like you could extract it somewhere. And first way to extract actually is without enum, just creating a variable, local variable of that resource class, which I did and on top I have this. So array of statuses, the only trick here that it needs to be static because the methods are static form and table. They are static so instead of options you could use self statuses like this. So then if you need the fourth option, you just go here and add that option. And that would also work if we refresh in the form, edit, that doesn't break. But if you want to separate the logic of the statuses, enum is a perfect candidate, not only for being reused, but also if you want to show the information in the table with icons, colors, and labels. So here we go, I have a separate enum class, app enum, product status, typical cases with values. And this is a PHP part, but then filament part comes on top. There are three contracts, three interfaces, has label, has color, has icon. And in case of enums, we can implement them as these methods. So assign a label, assign a color and assign an icon to each of the values. And then what you can do in the product resource in the table, for example, if you want to have not select column, but just show the value as text, you can do something like this. So text column as badge, and you don't need to specify the options here for colors and icons. Let's comment out the select column. And also we need to use that enum in the model. So we need to cast the status column, which is a string in the database to enum class. And then if we refresh the page in the table, we have this. So text column is transformed into a badge with color and icon and label. So in general, in case of enums, they give you the benefit of structuring the data in PHP or Laravel, but in case of filament, it gives you extra options to style the value as a badge. What do you think about it? Have you used it in your projects? Let's discuss in the comments. And subscribe to this new channel and give more ideas what to shoot about in the filament space. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.